Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Malin. Um, I'm known as Miss Kittenheart all over social media. So if you want to see more, you can look me up. Um, this is a part three of my tarot and oracle deck collection. Uh, these are my newest decks. Um, It's been a question of waiting for decks to arrive and waiting for decks to be made. I am still waiting for a deck. It should have been here quite a while ago. Um, but by the sound of it, it's it's coming to, to the shipping point. And that's the uh, Twin Peaks Tarot, the Magician Longs to See, I think it's called which I'm waiting for from Indiegogo, um, but uh, yeah, it should have been uh, here in the end of last year and it's still not here. So I'm not waiting anymore. So I thought I'd show you there are some brand new decks and there is an old deck and I think I will start with this one. This is the Bonfire Tarot. I have been waiting for ages to get this and I had to wait until it came out. Um, in print in uh, mainstream no that, that's not a word but uh, it was an independent deck that got picked up by a publisher and I think it is gorgeous I wish that there were no edges. This would be amazing all the way with the art all the way out on the edges. No borders. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, the cards are pretty big. My little hands, my small hands can't reach around them almost. But uh, all of this detailed art really needs these big cards. They are beautiful. Another one, also, I think it started as an independent deck and also got picked up by a publisher, but uh, don't quote me on that. I can't swear that it, that's where, what it was, but this is also a great deck. Also very colorful and bright. And lots and lots of eyes everywhere. And again, I wish it was borderless. Actually, you could trim these, but this is a small deck, especially compared to the Bonfire Tarot. There are lots of bones and rainbows and it's pretty psychedelic. Pretty trippy. But it's a lot of fun. And uh, actually this is perfect for my tiny hands. Uh, 
This is the sorry, this is the Holy Simple Tarot. And this was one that I backed on Um, I backed it on Kickstarter, I think, and uh, again, it's a small deck, you could cut the border borders off and then it would be tiny, tiny, so I wish it was borderless. The art is very quirky and very odd. And uh, I was a bit disappointed in some of the cards, while some of the other cards I really, really, really loved. But I guess that's the way it goes. See, they are very simple, many of them. They are a lot of fun too. This, I don't remember if it was Kickstarter or Indiegogo, but it was also one of the decks that I backed. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. And this I waited for. Ages and it was so worth it. This is the slow hauler deck and It is a collaboratory deck and it is Amazing It's basically the colors that keeps it all together with the black and the gold and the red and the white So, still with a different style of art, it still feels pretty cohesive. And it is pretty diverse, very queer friendly. And it, it is an amazing deck. Amazing. I love it a lot. This is also an independent deck. I don't remember where I got it. I think I saw it on Instagram and uh, I like what I saw. Um, it's the Wheel of Fortune tarot. Um, it's a fun, colorful deck, but uh, I don't know. There's something about it that I decided um, it's kind of more like a like an oracle than a tarot. There are no names, no numbers, very non-traditional imagery, imagery images, and. Uh, yeah, that I'd guess was the tower and um, the star, maybe, or the the devil. I don't know. That's the moon. Okay, that's the star, I guess. So it. Many of the cards 
you'd uh, kind of have to guess what they are. But that's not that difficult. Um, but it is a beautiful deck. But for me, as a very, very beginner reader, it's not really a deck for me. This is the old deck, a vintage deck I found it on eBay. It is my favorite Rider Waite Smith. It's the University. Sorry, it's the University Books edition. And I love how bright the colors are. I still, I have a couple of other right away. I had the Radiant one, I guess, I think. Um, and I have the Tiny, tiny Universal. Well, I have part of it left. I have been crafting with it. Um, but there are some I really, really want to have. There's an orange one. I don't remember what it's called. But um, they are not that easy to find. These old decks, especially not here in Sweden, where um, we don't find them at the flea market very often. But I love this one. It's a beauty. I love the bright orange accents. And the last of the tarot decks is a uh, majors only. And it's the kitchen tarot. And the art is gorgeous. The original art pieces is uh, actually quilts. So uh, and it's hard to believe they are so detailed. They are crazy, insanely detailed. And uh, the artist actually quilted these. Actually, that looks painted, but uh, so this is a pretty busy deck. Uh, lots of details, uh, big cards, which you need because of all of, the, all of the details. And I wish it was borderless, of course. So they have renamed it a bit. You still have the old name and the kitchen name. It is a beautiful deck. I had to search a bit for it. I think I got it on Book Depository or Abe's Books or something. It's a gorgeous deck. Then there are two Lenormand decks. My two very, very first Lenormand decks, and I was actually surprised they are so tiny, so cute. This is the Dreaming Way Lenormand, and I have the Dreaming Way Tarot, and it is beautiful. So I had to have this. I didn't even think for a second before I got this. And uh, it is pretty. It is not as pretty as the Dreaming Away Tarot, but it is pretty. I like that one, really, really nice. And the bear, love the bear. I am doing a tarot deck with some friends and I am 
gathering uh, an oracle deck uh, with friends as well but actually I am pretty inspired to make a Lenormand deck as well and uh, the other Lenormand Is the kitsch in Normand. It is from actually I don't know where it's from. Duck soup maybe. No name anywhere. But it is It is fantastic. Again with this tiny tiny card, but uh, I guess I guess that's a little Norman way. And these kitschy fifties inspired images. That's pretty darn awesome. And finally, an Oracle deck, which I also backed on Kickstarter, I think it was. That's the Spirit Cat Oracle, and I, I really, really love this. The images are gorgeous. There are no borders, and there are all of these beautiful cats, and yeah, the meanings on the back. I really love this. So cute. And uh, that was the latest addition to my tarot collection. If you want to see more, see part one and part two on my channel. And um, I have a tarot wish list as long as my arm, literally, but I don't know when I will be able to add to my collection. So, uh, someday, not soon, there be, will be a part four. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. I hope you found any new, uh, some new decks. To put on your wish list and uh, I'll see you later. Have a good day, take care, bye bye.